Another look at this. No, what did I say to you? Elbow you him. said it wouldn't make any difference. Oh, make contact with the ref. <laughs> but I'm going to catch him before him he goes down. And then he even asked him, are you okay? Yeah, they well, run all the way to the end. The Kings ball. Well, I'll tell you, Garnett is so good at poking oh. that ball. Oh! And we've got a little extracurricular activity in front of the Sacramento bench. What was that all about? Uh, oh. Wow. There's a harsh, that's a harsh tweet. Um, a harsh tweet. <laughs> that's a harsh tweet. Call him a punk. What yeah, a, a harsh tweet. You can't call a guy a punk. That's, Ernie, that's can harsh, I give you a man. second fact, Ernie? Ernie it's, time for, Ernie, it's time for DeMarcus Cousins to grow up. Oh, without question. Hey, lady, I agree with you. We Man, I just, it's just, man, last, last season was absolutely ridiculous. I, I, I just, I just gotta grow up. I just gotta grow up. I mean, the docs, they've got me on some stress relieving ways, so it, it'll get better this next season. I promise that. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to the DeMarcus Cousins playthrough on Create a Legend mode. Oh yeah, I've chosen DeMarcus Cousins, and as you can see, he's had some terrible um, times in the past seasons, and, and some of those clips are from this current season that have happened. Um, so, this is his new season. I'm going I'm to treat this like this season, but restarted. He's refreshed renewed, revigorated. You can see that we are 6 and 0 oh, and if we can get past these Lakers, we will be 7 and 0. Oh. 7 and 0 oh to start off the NBA season for the Sacramento Kings. That's impressive. And especially beating Spurs last game and 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 hopefully Lakers tonight. That's a, that a, that's a good season to me. I mean, we are opening night against the Bulls, beat them. So I don't know, these Sacramento Kings with DeMarcus uh, Cousins' new attitude um, that's it's starting to look good for us. Um, during the offseason, he decided to mature, but not in the sense that you would think. He still knocks people down. You'll see a, uh, um, an example of that in this next upcoming game. Uh, and you'll see Kobe get knocked his ass to the floor. So I, I don't really remember what at what time that is. It's about third quarter, maybe. I think it was about the third quarter. I knocked Kobe's ass on the floor, and I knocked a lot of other people's ass on the floor. Dwight Howard, Blake was definitely one of them. Um, so that's that's just what he does now. I've got that perk, and DeMarcus Cousins seems to be doing amazing. Um, with the help of me, Derek D. Ginger King, of course. I mean, I am the YouTube champion. Uh, I work wonders, and give me DeMarcus Cousins, I'll make him an all-star within a year. And with the points that we're putting up right now, the averages are well over 20 for points and and maybe next game I'll remember to put up the averages for both Derek D Ginger King on his next video and uh, Cousins for his next video I'll put up the averages so far um, DeMarcus Cousins I do want to say something about this series that this series is not going to be like Derek D Ginger King's this series is not going to be like just game 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 you know tough it out watch the game Hopefully get to the playoffs. Now, DeMarcus Cousins is going to get to the playoffs, and he's going to win the championship. We are playing on Hall of Fame difficulty at the end of the video. I prove that. I don't cheat, and if I did cheat, I wouldn't tell you. Um, but I'm not cheating, and there's no way I can prove it, but you're just going to have to take my word for it. I don't like cheaters, and I don't typically cheat on video games. I can't stand games where, where you have to lower the difficulty to get past a certain part and then raise it back up again. I don't like stuff like that. So I don't cheat. If it's on Hall of Fame difficulty, it's on Hall of Fame difficulty, and I will prove that at the end of this video. I just wanted to say that now before you would make any sort of comment as to why uh, the game turns out the way it does. So, ladies and gentlemen, 6-0 start for the Sacramento Kings. DeMarcus Cousins' new attitude is really affecting this team. They're starting to play better. They're starting to, to laugh. They're starting to actually be a team and our head coach is having a good time everything's going right for us so in this series I'm gonna show you a little bit of what DeMarcus Cousins has been doing during the offseason to help him get 
to where he is today. You're seeing DeMarcus Cousins after a um, an offseason of pure um, keeping himself, tr training himself to be a better human being and a better person and a better basketball player overall. You've seen the remarks that he's a punk, that he needs to mature, that he's a he's, he's, he was a little immature last season. But so in this series, during the pregame, the pregame is, is what I just showed you, that little spliff of stuff. You're going to be seeing what DeMarcus Cousins has been doing to keep him in control of his own emotions. Try to keep him down to a certain level that doesn't hurt anybody else or overreact in any way. He doesn't want to get technicals anymore. He's trying to mature, and I, I think that the strategy worked, and I'm just going to be showing those off. Um, if you do like the uh, the opening bit there, that was some clever editing by me, Say if I may say so myself. This is probably the most editing I've done to a video, and I'm actually happy with the way it turned out. It's probably not the best you've ever seen, but hey, for my very first, like, AVS, throw-it-together type of thing, I'm very happy with how it turned out. Now, during this game, the Los Angeles Lakers... I find it funny that they're down by this much. You can see the score now. They're most likely down by 10 or more points at this moment to the Sacramento Kings. And I find it funny that the NBA 2K13 game is having trouble with the LA Lakers getting into the top eight. Even in D, D Ginger Kings series, they are not in the top eight right now. So is it is it really what they've done because they did trade a lot away to get Steve Nash and well Steve Nash I think was signed wasn't he no I think he was traded hmm I think he was traded but I'm not sure um and they gave away a lot for Dwight as well um a lot of money a lot of time a lot of I mean it's just it's I think it's just such a big five team that you just have I think you have to split them up Lakers are still having troubles in real life they can't get it going Kobe Bryant is calling for change. He doesn't need change. He needs to take control. He needs a head head coach who could take control, and they're not really doing that right now. I I I, I don't think so. Um, of what I do see of their basketball games, I mean, uh, I'm a Utah Jazz fan. They're playing tomorrow, and I'm absolutely going to watch that game, and I'll be studying it, and that's going to be the commentary um, for Derek D. Ginger King's next game, which probably will come out Saturday or so. Um, I just find it hard to get behind. If I were a Lakers fan, I would be very, very upset. I'd be very angry. And the blame isn't solely on the coach or um, Dwight Howard or Nash or Kobe. It's really a combination of all of them together. Kobe Bryant is kind of a... Um, mm, he's, he's kind of a, a guy who... If he feels like he's not in control, he'll try to take control back. And on a team, that's very self-destructive. I feel like if he trusted Nash and Dwight Howard more... I mean, and just think of that. These three guys, Kobe Bryant, Nash, Howard, three all-stars who have been on separate teams and made their names on these separate teams. Kobe Bryant has always been the all-star of the Lakers for the past ten years. The only person that's come close to him is Pau Gasol. Um, and, and Shaq, of course, but he's been moving everywhere. And Steve Nash, all right? Steve Nash has been about the only person on the Phoenix Suns with an impressive resume in the past seven years or so, right? So then you have Dwight Howard, who with the Orlando Magic, I mean, Jameer Nelson was fine, but they're, they're, no, they're nothing compared to Dwight Howard. These are three guys who are used to playing a singles career just just them the 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 offense is centered around them them getting the ball in a high pressure situation and then you bring these three together and it's not working you need to figure out a way to make it work and i don't think d'antoni is the guy are we going to see d'antoni get fired by the end of the year i think they'll keep him until the playoff season and if they don't make the playoffs he's absolutely gone he is done and I think he, he will be tainted meat for the rest of his career here's the thought former jazz man I, I don't know if this would work 
because Sloane is a very, you know, set in his ways type of guy. What if we try to bring in Sloane and we have Sloane discipline these guys and have Sloane and, and Kobe corroborate on an offense that would work? You need to focus on Kobe. Dwight Howard, he will do whatever he needs to do. Just have him focus on defense. He's going to cut his, his um, points and his rebounds. They're going to get cut down. But you need to take control of the ship, Kobe Bryant. You need to retake control because you are in some... You're, you're heading towards the iceberg right now. And um, if they continue to play this way, they won't make it past round one of the playoffs. They will not. Um, let's see. All right, so I, that's what I wanted to say about the Lakers. Another quick thing. We do have the... Um, <laughs> Uh, this thing came out today, and it made me laugh. I looked on Twitter. The New Orleans Pelicans. No flow. New Orleans Hornets. There was flow. Buzz, buzz, buzz. What the hell are they going to do for a Pelican? Mine, mine, mine. What are they going to do with the Pelicans? Why would they change it to the Pelicans? So I'm interested to see what these Pelicans can do. I think they'll be debuting in 2013. The 2013-2014 season. So... <laughs> Very strange. The, if, if you haven't looked up the Pelicans logo yet, look it up. It's amazing. Kobe Bryant, retake control of the Lakers ship. I picked you. You're one of the chosen. Take control. I am Derek D. Ginger King. Go ahead, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. Do what you gots to do. Stay tuned for more DeMarcus Cousins' Create a Legend playthrough. I am your YouTube champion, Derek D. Ginger King. Checking out.